Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the cloud maturity scale for the Google Cloud Adoption Framework. And so this is a matrix made up of the themes and phases that we just reviewed, and it will help your organization pinpoint their exact adoption position. So uh, on the horizontal scale, we have learn, lead, scale, and secure to determine our adoption themes. And then on our vertical scale, we have tactical, strategic, and transform uh, transformational uh, for organization's maturity. So uh, where it intersects with learn and tactical. The idea here is that you are self-taught and you are uh, reliant on third parties um, for strategic learn. These are organized training with third party assisted uh, for uh, learn and transformational. It's peer learning and sharing with third party staff augmentation. So just to kind of make sense, because I know these are kind of abbreviated, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But the idea is that if you are learning and you are in the short term phase, then you're probably going to be self-taught in this, right? Okay, and then if you're strategic, you're gonna be you're gonna have organized training because you are bringing people and processes in, as we saw in the, uh, as we were describing the um, maturity phases, and then for transformational, we have peer learning and sharing because we're now established in the cloud, but we're just trying to collect data, make things a lot better. Okay, for lead. Uh, uh, lead for tactical looks like uh, it's teams by function and you have a heroic project manager. Uh, basically, anytime you want to adopt cloud, no matter if it's Google or other ones, you need somebody in your team that's going to uh, act as the hero or the evangelist for that adoption, uh, uh, for the adoption of the cloud. And you got to find that person to carry you through all the stages, okay? Uh, so for lead and strategic, we have new cross-functional uh, functional cloud team. So this is where you actually have a specialized team in your organization because you're now in the cloud, right? Uh, and so that's going to help support the workloads and move it uh, further. And then uh, down for transformational lead, you have cross-functional feature teams, great uh, uh, autonomy. So the idea is you don't just have a single team, but you have multiple teams that are feature specific. So maybe you have data uh, data team, you have a DevOps team, uh, and the idea is that you also want to make sure they have the control to do what they need to do in their own space, right? That means in Google Cloud, they're going to have their own folder, and they can self-govern all their projects uh, in there. They're not, they can do their shadow IT, and they don't have to access centralized IT to do stuff. Uh, for scale and tactical, so change is slow, and uh, risk is ops heavy. Um, because basically everything is still in the old uh, the old on-premise system, right? So that makes sense. Uh, for scale and strategic templates, ensure good governance without manual review. Um, so you know you just want to make sure that you have uh, infrastructure as code is in place and you're putting uh, governing rules in the midterm. For transformational scale, all change is constant, low risk, and quickly fixed. So you're really in good shape for scale here. Uh, you know you're just scale is going to be really easy, right? So whereas this, you're, you're doing a lot of automation still to try to get your scale. Uh, for secure, fear of public internet, trust in private network. That's, of course, why people are on-premise, because they're really afraid to be in the public cloud or, or uh, uh, on third parties in general. So that is something you're going to have to fight with at that stage. Uh, for strategic, you have central identity hybrid network. You know, so that could be using the Beyond Corp, which is the zero trust model, or you could be doing federation uh, between uh, your Azure Active Directory on prem into uh, like with cloud identity using like uh, Google syncing directory uh, service. Uh, then uh, the last one here is secure and transformational trust, only the right people, device and services. This is what they're talking about. They're talking about the zero trust model here. So that really is where Beyond Corp uh, would come into play uh, for the Google Cloud Adoption Framework, okay?